Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back to Hot News, the place for your hottest internet on the internet. You're welcome. Let's go ahead and talk about today's existential question, which is, are bats just squirrel ducks? The more you think about it, the more it seems plausible. I think bats are just squirrel ducks or the, the squirrels of the duck world, something like that. How you break that down, I'm not sure. Are they mammal or the bird? Are they both? What's a platypus? I need the answers. I know technically they're all mammals, but you know, whatever. Let's, let's move on from that. Woo, okay, that's good stuff. Let's go ahead and talk about who the news, because it's hot, it's hot, it's spicy. If you, if you had to guess what's the hottest news on the internet right now, what would it be about? That's right, the hottest chips, Intel, yes, steam engines of power and loss of electricity money. That's what's gonna be happening with the next generation. And turns out a whole bunch of Z490 motherboards are getting leaked and they're pricing. And by golly goodness, mm, your wallet's gonna be in pain, okay? You think that uh, Intel would learn that, hey, maybe you wanna compete on value because I mean, AMD is slightly like 2%, two FPS slower than you and you're losing to them. So maybe, you know, bring down the price and just provide the same performance and everything will be okay. Intel went, how about we give you more performance that you can't afford for more power than your power supply can give you and we charge you extra. That's the Intel way. So the leaked pricing on Z490s is up nearly 60% from Z390s according to a retailer who already has some Z490s posted. So direct comparisons, the Z490 Aorus Master, it's going from $369 for Z390 to $537, which is a 45% increase. The Gigabyte Z490i, the mini ITX ones, going from $200 to $318. 64% jump. Other ones are not so bad. There's like some 28% increases, but on the whole, it's like 30 to 40% prices are going up and we're having motherboards being leaked. Asus leaked their own prime motherboards, the Z490P and Z490A. Then there's also the tough Z490 Plus. The Z490 MPG Pro and Meg from MSI has been listed on video cards along with some pricing showing that the Z490 Godlike is gonna be going for 960 euros. Which, if I could just walk you through something right now, the reason why these are probably more expensive than their Z390 counterparts is because they have to deal with the giant Inferno chips that is Comet Lake that draw three to 400 watts when you use them properly. So they had to upgrade the VRM. They had to change the design to make it so that it can actually support these wacky chips that just want to set your house on fire. So you have a motherboard that hopefully won't set your house on fire by using higher end components, which would then make sense with the higher price. But then we need to look at the feature set. Z490 will not have PCI Express 4.0. Why are you paying more for Z490 when X570 has better features? It doesn't make a ton of sense. Intel still has Thunderbolt. They still have support for a few things that AMD motherboards don't have support for and hopefully a fan on the chipset either, much to AMD's detriment on noise for their motherboard. But pricing seems to be going up all around Z490s, at least according to this video cards article, the starting price for MS size low end Z490 is gonna be 200 euros, which is expensive. X570 was expensive. Z490 needs to be more expensive. It's crazy. So you're gonna spend $960 for the flagship motherboard. You're gonna spend like $600 for the flagship chip. You have $1,500 already. There goes your stimulus check. Intel welcomes your open wallet give it to them. It just doesn't make sense in the context of the world we're living in right now. I mean, obviously there's just the whole pandemic thing where people are out of jobs and buying super high-end stuff that it's barely better than the current stuff you already have is a little ridiculous. But then AMD, AMD has already like shoved value down their throat and then brought up their market share and was like, hey, we're better than you and we can beat you on price and we're gonna do it again this year with Zen 3, you ready? And Intel's like, no, give me more. I feed off of everybody's negativity and I'm just gonna get bigger and stronger, more expensive. Intel, what is you doing, baby? <laughs> I mean, a lot of these motherboards are gonna have 10 gigabit ethernet, which is cool. I don't have a whole lot of explanation here. They need higher end components to support the high end chips. It's gonna get more expensive that way. It's, what are you gonna do? But doesn't matter what I think doesn't matter my ranting and raving at Intel not caring about the consumer desktop market because they have regained their position as the number one semiconductor manufacturer in the entire world, which they lost to Samsung for the last year. But when Samsung went down, well, Intel rises from the ashes and Intel is once again, the number one manufacturer in the world for chips. Who are you gonna go to? Intel Busters. Sorry, that was bad Ghostbusters joke. He slimed me.
But while we're waiting on the release of brand new CPUs, brand new authentic CPUs from Intel, turns out that there's a lot of counterfeit goods going around in China, third-party sellers and shopkeepers selling counterfeit Intel and AMD chips, according to a report that has officially come out in the last few days, talking about how Intel is acknowledging a rise in RMA scams because they're getting CPUs that have no dye under the integrated heat spreader. There's nothing there. They don't work. They look like they come in official packaging, but then when you break it down, you open one up, you delid one, and you just got the Intel glue with nothing else. But you still have all of the SMDs on the bottom. Everything looks official from the outside until you delit it. Buyer beware. Don't buy knockoff chips, my friends. There's also a great image of them peeling off a sticker of an i7-8700K and under it is a Celeron. So that's phenomenal. It's just a little plastic sticker on your CPU. And then there's also some indication of like Amazon having some fake ones where somebody got a i9-9900K that has the same notching of a Core 2 Duo and basically is just a Core 2 Duo instead of a 9900K. So buyer beware. Don't be, don't be buying shady chips, especially if they're cheap cheaper by a little bit. Don't do that. Intel doesn't discount price. That's how you know you're getting bamboozled. Spending $300 on a 9900K, you're getting wrecks probably. I don't know. Maybe you just have a really good friend who wants to sell things for cheap. But cheap is not the way AMD is going when it comes to their donation of computer parts towards Voldemort research. They're donating $15 million worth of Epic CPUs and Radeon Instinct accelerators to help in the aid of fighting Voldemort with their high performance computing fund. $15 million of systems. That's how that's how it works. It's good good money. Thank you, AMD. But also AMD, according to new rumors, is going to be launching B550 on June 16th. We've already talked about how this is delayed. Looks like June 16th is going to be the release date for B550 in case you're holding out for that. But in case you're holding out for getting a Pentium 4 on a pinhead, well, three nanometers is what you're waiting for because TSMC's three nanometer node has been talked about to now have 250 million transistors per millimeter squared. That's a lot in case you don't know. That's a bit, that's a heckin' ton of transistors. You only need four millimeters squared to get a billion transistors. Obviously, we talked about in hot news last week that TSMC's three nanometer is likely going to be delayed till 2022. So they just have to wait a little bit longer to get that fantastic goodness packed in a little small square. But Samsung's gonna be packing more goodness in their small squares known as NAND memory, going up to 160 layers on their 3D NAND. This is after a Chinese company came out last week and said, hey, we can match Samsung one for one. We're gonna have 128 layer NAND. And Samsung said, ha ha, 160, beat that. I'm sure that's exactly how the executive said it in the pitch meeting. But I'm gonna pitch something to you which is your Samsung phone that you just bought is not as good as it once was, at least if you're upgrading to it, because Samsung is no longer storing keyboard data in their Samsung cloud service so that you can't save your synced words and like things that you have adapted to your Samsung keyboard from your S10 moving on to your S20 Ultra. Doesn't exist anymore. They discontinued that as of April 13th, so no more sync and all of that kind of stuff. But you know who is in sync? Justin Timberlake and others, but what I'm talking about is releases of consoles because it appears that the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are expected to get more of a reveal in May with Microsoft and Sony being in sync. You're welcome. I brought back. That's a callback in case you don't know, which is what PlayStation 5 is going to be calling back to their previous games because Digital Foundry came out with a new video talking about how the PS5 will have backwards compatibility on PS4 games that will likely enhance games featuring uncapped frame rates, dynamic resolution, all of that kind of stuff. So if the game supports these extra features and it's not locked down like some games are where the frame rate is tied to the game clock. If you have uncapped frame rate and all of that, then the boost mode that the PS5 is going to bring you makes it so that you can hit 120 FPS or you could hit 4K in these games. So you will get an actual increase of playing certain games on the PS5 versus your PS4, which gives you some incentive to bring your PS4 games over. But I have incentive to pick up this power supply from Asus because it's beautiful. It's a white power supply. It's this ROG Strix 850 watt white edition. It's beautiful. I love it. Now give me a white PCB on your motherboard and give me a white PCB on a graphics card, Asus, okay? Stop being cowards and just do it. It's not cowardly to not produce a PCB. It's I'm just- totally cowardly. Reese is, Reese is the one saying it. I'm just advocating that we need more white PCBs, okay? I, you just one lineup, one lineup from every major company and then we can all have snow themed PCs. That's, I just want one. Just, just give me a single one, which is unfortunately not what happened with the next article. There's more than a single person being laid off of the Tor project, which in case you don't know, Tor is used for anonymizing your web searching and web interfacing. It's a 
very private way of doing things or makes it so that you can anonymize all of that stuff. Anyways, they're gonna be laying off 13 people because of the downturn due to Voldemort right now. But that downturn that's happening everywhere in the world because of the pandemic isn't for naught because we've talked about folding at home before and how gamers have come together and banded together and made their horsepower in their PCs work to fight against Voldemort and folding the proteins to understand it a bit better, giving researchers the ability to attack it more effectively. Anyways, the whole point is Folding at Home has updated their clients to now include options to prioritize Voldemort projects instead of before you just had to say any. Now you can say, I only want my PC resources going towards this, which if I could be fair, maybe don't do that because all the other research that Folding at Home is doing is absolutely worthwhile. And it'd probably be better if it got mixed in, you know, where you got a Huntington's research protein and then you got a Voldemort protein. That's probably like a good thing for the world overall, but I completely understand if you want to just fight against Voldemort that's you be you which is what New York is saying you can be you and marry somebody else who's not you over the internet now because they're allowing clerks to hold virtual weddings it's a thing so you can do wedding ceremonies they can pronounce you a couple and a spouse and then you get your wedding license marriage license whatever those are I forgot it's been a long time since I got married it's been over a decade it's crazy I don't remember these things. I signed a piece of paper, it went off to somewhere, and now I got another person with my last name. Now I have three more, I have four people with my last name. But continuing on on the theme of Voldemort, the co-founders of Instagram who have subsequently left the company due to Facebook's meddling and everything, or just because they got hecka rich when Facebook bought them out. Regardless, Instagram's co-founders have now created a Voldemort tracker that actually measures the infection rate per state or overall. If you go to rt.live, you can check the infection rate and the spread of everything that's happening with Voldemort. Voldemort right now, you want typically that number to be under one, which means that one person is infecting less than one other person, which is great for not spreading it out in the community. However, what you can see is that for the majority of states, a lot of them went, hey, look, we flattened the curve. Now I'm tired of this crap, I'm going back out. And then you can see an uptick in the infection rate in states like Louisiana, Massachusetts, and oh wait, what's that state I'm living in? Florida, where, oh, the infection rate went over one when the beaches opened again last week. Shocker. Stay the heck home, people. You can open up the economy. You can do that. I don't care. Like if the Florida governor came out and said, hey, we're reopening Florida. You know what I'm gonna say? Nah, fam, I'm good. I have a special needs child at home who if he got this, could die from his seizures. Not happening. So I'm gonna choose, which this whole thing is really weird because you have people protesting the stay at home orders by going outside. But how do I counter protest their protests? I stay inside, but that's what I'm already doing. So is it really a protest or am I just part of the machine? Is this what's going on? Am I just part of the system? Am I the man? Apple's the man, oppressing us all, watching us all. And they're gonna have a new way of doing that with these new iPhone 12 leaks, revealing a smaller notch, proximity sensors, flood illuminators, infrared camera, ambient light sensor, and a dot projector on the front of the iPhone 12. You can check that out at the link in the video description, but it's not the only phone reveal that we got. LG revealing what is their velvet phone. You can see it's LG trying not to die as a company, probably going to happen. They haven't released anything worthwhile in quite some time. Although I'm gonna have tons of people down in the comments explaining why I'm wrong and why their V40 was the best thing that was ever made since sliced bread, which absolutely, go ahead. All I'm saying is enjoy your dying phone, which will stop getting software updates sometime soon because LG's mobile division probably gonna shut down. I don't know, I'm just forecasting and projecting my own feelings here. I might be totally inaccurate and incorrect. I'm just, I'm just being me, I'm giving you my opinion. You know what else I, I expect to shut down? Facebook gaming. I mean, they're, they're trying to be Mixer, they're trying to be Twitch, they're trying to be YouTube Gaming, which YouTube Gaming's not even very good. So how do you expect the company that's known for video streaming and made a lot of these gaming YouTubers can't even do a game stream setup very well? Anyways, the whole point is Facebook Gaming now has its own dedicated app. Don't use it, don't download it. I'm almost like Quibi on this. Don't, don't participate in this, okay? Don't even check it out to see if it's worthwhile. Just let Facebook Gaming die. It doesn't need to exist, which, Maybe my existential questions don't need to exist, but I need answers. Are bats just squirrel ducks? Are they? The more you think about it, the more you realize, hmm, that, that's not a bad, no, that's pretty bad. <laughs> kombucha girl. That's basically where I'm at with this question. That's gonna be it. I'm done with hot news. Thank you for tuning in. I don't know why I did that with my laptop. I'm gonna be, bye.
screw this article. Drop it. I'm dropping it. I'm deleting it, Jason. It doesn't exist. Never happened. Never happened. 